how to make a bunch of dog bows in a flash. You'll need several layers of ribbon making tool. I buy spools of this at a fabric store for pretty cheap. You need at least three layers, but I like to use five of different colors to really make a good poofy bow. You can use any kind of small rubber bands. I like these rainbow loom bands because they're easy to find. You'll need to make a figure eight with the rubber bands to put it around the tool. So wrap one end around your thumb and flip it and put the other end around your finger. It looks just like a figure eight. You can be fancy and fold the tool accordion style to make perfect little pleats. But I prefer to do it the quick and messy way, which is literally to just run your hands down the whole thing and make a big bundle of tool. Now using your rubber bands and the figure eight that I mentioned, you're going to pass one end of the loop over the other and pull it through. Pull it nice and tight over the bundle of tool. Evenly space rubber bands down the entire bundle until you reach the end. You can make these as big or small as you like. I'm making these pretty big just for demonstrative purposes. Of course, if you have a Yorkie or a small dog, you'll want to make them much smaller. After your rubber bands are all placed, grab a sharp pair of shears and chop off the messy ends. You can use any pair of scissors. I like to use uh, pinking shears because they make a nice little fringe. Then you're just going to cut apart the bows by cutting in between each rubber band. Each cut makes a bow. You can make a lot of bows this way really fast. To put your finished bow on a dog, wrap the open end of the rubber band around a hemostat a few times until it's nice and tight. Fluff apart the layers of tulle so it's nice and poofy so it looks like you want it to. Then to put it on your dog, you just open the hemostat, grab a few strands of hair, and pull them through the elastic. Poofy bows are the perfect finishing touch. So cute.